Well, welcome back to Windy Hill Kennel. I'm a week late and I know you have all been so anticipating a new video. Um, this is the first time they've seen the little tyke toy. So the Merle male decided, oops, he's gonna slide out. These guys are doing great. This is Cinder's litter. I'm sorry, oh, gosh, Holly's litter. I just did Cinder's litter. So this is Holly's kids. And today is the 29th of June. So we are almost into the next month. Oh my golly. You know, it seems like it's been a whirlwind this summer. We've been so busy. Um, Holly's kids are doing great. And Vanessa took some weights for you today. And uh, so a couple things, a couple notes about the two uh, double Merles. So they are double Merles. They are both deaf. Uh, they both can see. And otherwise, if they couldn't see, they would not move around. They would suck the side of the fences. Oh, I know. I hear you. This is my noisy one down here underneath me. This is the yellow colored black male. Um, so that was my concern with them was that they would be blind. And if they would have been blind, we would have probably euthanized them. But they're doing good. Um, they're going to stay here. And we've had a deaf dog before. They get along great. Um, you just can never let them loose without being in a kennel. Because if you yell for them to come away from the road, they will never hear you. Everybody else in here is 100% perfect. Um, we thought the little male could see in here, but the other day I found him asleep on the floor and everybody else was gone. So I picked up two metal water pans and I clanged them together about a foot over top of his head. He never moved. And uh, after a couple more hard bangs, I said, well, okay, the verdict's in, he's deaf. So that's the only thing he has going wrong with him is his hearing. But um, so they'll be fun to watch grow. Um, they're doing phenomenal. And I was so tickled when the little female was, uh, we found out she was able to see. So um, it's just one of those things that we had absolutely no idea in the world that, ho that Holly could have been a Merle. No, I don't want to hold you. He's down here going, but I know you. He loves to be held. They love to be cuddled. And I find myself talking to them all the time and they can't hear me. But they do feel vibrations, of course. I know, you're just this cute face. And I can't do it. I'm busy. I know, but I'm busy. I'm busy. I shouldn't pet you. I know, I shouldn't pet you. I know what he says, but I know you. Uh, they're all little stinkers. It's so funny to watch them play. This is the first time I've had them out away from mom. And, uh, I wasn't sure if they would be afraid or not because they've always been with mom. And they are in the house with us now. Now, Holly is really upset. She does not want them in the house with us. She wants them with her all the time. She's such a good mom. Such a good mom. Um... But we did have DNA uh, embark testing done on her and the white pups um, because we knew what the verdict was going to be, really, without testing them. But Holly was the big one I wanted tested. So they're still not back. It takes about five to six weeks to get the test back. So those are, should be coming back any time. And I know you're probably seeing the new Little Tykes toy we have. And I have a client named Robin that was here to pick up her chamois puppy. And she picked this up for me in New York. She was traveling through on personal business and found one somehow and called the people and they held it for her and bless her heart, she drove over and picked it up for me and delivered it yesterday when she got her puppy. So she and her husband have drugged this thing around for, I don't know, they've had it for over maybe a month and a half. Uh, not too long after Shammy's kids were born, they she found it. So I am looking for a couple more just so I can put them in all the kennels when they're out to play and uh it sure beats my uh culvert tile but the culvert tile works good too so these guys have been inside in the air conditioning the whole time um we just decided that we were going to have to get this done we are expecting storms i'm sitting here dripping sweat it's 93 degrees today with 101 index heat index so these guys as they play a little bit longer you're probably going to see them start panting and um, 
they're gonna get hot. Oh, this one says, I am really into this. This is fun. The females over there going in now, the little tight. They're funny. We are gonna have the uh, two double dilutes, or eyes certified. Um, Ohio State University over at MedVet, um, they actually have an ophthalmologist come in. They dilate the dog's eyes, and then they actually do an eye test exactly like they do on you. So they will be able to tell us the degree, um, like if they have any hearing, or any, any sight impairment, which as of this point, we see nothing. I mean, they play, they run, you know, they run up and pick up things. Um, she'll watch her mom across the kennel. <clears throat> and she runs at her like an alligator with its mouth open and snaps at her mom's coat. So I don't think there's any impairment at all, but I thought it might be nice if we have them checked. I don't know, we'll see. It's not really gonna do any good. I mean, we know they're deaf and we know they can see, and that's the big thing. They're healthy, and um, it's just a small birth defect. So it could have been a large birth defect, but it wasn't. God was good on this one. If we'd have done it on purpose, maybe it would have been a lot worse. But this was a total, total not any idea that Holly was a Merle. All right, let's go with weights today. So 83.35. Oh, I've got sweat running in my eyes. Sorry. 8335 is a black puppy with a yellow collar. I think they took off to the back. They did. And he is 3 pounds, 8.5. Uh, 8334 is a blue merle female, and she's got the neon pink collar on. And she's back here in the back. There's her neon pink. You can just catch glimpses of it. He says, I'm going to attack you. Uh, 8331 is the Blue Merle Party with the purple collar on. And she, oh, she just got plowed over. <laughs> She's the try. She's got the half brown face and the half white face with Merle. Oh, there was another T-bone. Rolled her over. Um, she is 2 pounds, 13.5. She will make weight by spay date. Uh, and then we have... 8332, which is the party Merle male. He's the one that is deaf. And he is three pounds 11. And the all white little female is three pounds 1.5. So that's the skivvy on all these guys. Um, when you come to pick up, I have all of your stuff ready for you. I have a bag of goodies. I've got your health card, all your paperwork. Oh, it's really getting black across the street. We're supposed to have some storms, and I hope so. I just hope they're not real bad, but we need we need to break this heat. This has been miserable. I think we were 93 yesterday, and I don't even like my employees to go out in this. It's that bad. But um, I also want to let you know, if you're planning on using newspaper for your puppy, I have pounds and pounds and pounds of newspapers. We bought out a newspaper company and I have a trailer full of Gaylords, full of it. Um, I could fill your car to where there's no room to sit many times over. So if you would like newspaper at no charge to take home, please remember to ask me when you're here and don't be shy. If you wanna take a whole back end of your SUV full, I'll be glad to load you up. My husband's about ready to shoot me. He said, get rid of what you don't want to keep and keep the rest. And so I don't use the folded paper like the regular daily newspapers and things like that. I use the big rolls of paper and I have a garage full of that. So um, if you'd like paper, please speak up when you're here and I will fix you up when you're here. Um, these guys are current on everything they can have done so far. And they will go home with a complete health record for your vet. That your vet will know exactly what we've done to these guys. And when the next uh, shots will be due and wormings will be due. Also, if you're a do-it-yourselfer and you like to do some of this stuff at home, please let me know when you're here. And um, I'll be glad to, because we're all big do-it-yourselfers. 
We'll be glad to give you some tips and tricks, things you can get that you didn't know you could get and where you can get them. <coughs> um, you can do lots of this stuff at home. Uh, the, the biggest reason that vets don't like you to do it at home is you may not do it in order. <coughs> Excuse me, I think I swallowed a bug. You may not do it when you're supposed to do it and let it slack. <coughs> oh my. So um, just let me know and I'll be glad to fix, fix you up with some information on things that you can do yourself. Uh, they guys, These guys got a bath today. They got their toenails done today. I know, go away. I don't want to hear you cry. And I'm not talking to you. And uh, they've been really good. Uh, they're doing great in the house on no bark. Where we're, well, they never bite us because we don't even give them a chance. Um, and they're doing really good on no lick because we also don't give them a chance on that. I thought maybe he was going to shoot up through there. Nope, he's coming around. Oh, face plant. <laughs> he tripped on something. This is so cute. This is, they slide out of this. Oh, that one jumped. I know, there they go. And the other thing is, if you have not booked in for pickup, and I know if you've texted me and I haven't gotten back to you, I'm sorry. I literally am not kidding you. We didn't even get to eat last week. We'd have a ham sandwich and go to bed. Um, so, I apologize, but if you did text me, if you'll re-text me and say, hey, I text you about pickup, I promise I have tomorrow with nobody picking up puppies, and I have Thursday with nobody picking up puppies. So I am planning on playing catch up. We're grooming, um, we're bathing dogs, and I'm working in the office on paperwork and books. I also am gonna email you uh, an email out tomorrow sometime, letting you know the balance due on your puppy. I do not take credit cards here at the shop. When COVID hit, instead of paying that monthly fee for my uh, credit card machine, I sent it back to the bank. But you can still do credit card if you prefer that, and you can do it on my website. You can do it right there on that PayPal logo. You just change the amount where it asks to go in that little circle, the amount, or might even say change amount, and you can put your balance due in there. So I'm going to email you balance due. Um, if you want to, if you want to avoid the four percent fee for the credit card, which if you're paying the balance due with credit card, there is a four percent fee on the total amount you're about to pay on that credit card. So uh, I do do Venmo and I do Zelle. If you decide you want to do one of those, that's great. You'll save the four percent. I'll also send you that total and I'll remind you about Zelle and Venmo. And uh, if you do do it, it's just my cell phone number is my account number. So that's the easiest way for you to do it. If you don't have me on your phone as a friend contact, you may have to put me on there. But once I'm on your phone, it will send it right to my cell phone number. Okay, well, I think for now I'm going to go. I've got one more I'd like to get done today to get everybody caught up. And um, it's getting darker and darker. So I think I need to get that done. I think they're all about done. They're getting to where they're laying underneath me. Where's the other one? Oh, she's laying over here. She's clear up here right at the edge of the toy. Ooh, there comes a big wind. Yeah, we're not going to be too long. This storm's going to hit. So... Have a great day. I hope you've enjoyed seeing Holly's kids. Um, they're super cute. They really are. Um, sweet personalities. Timber, she said, I'm sliding out. And um, they're all doing really good. So have a great week and a blessed one. Oops, crashed your nose right into that. And uh, call me if you have not booked in for pickup, and I'll get you booked. And then we can get the paperwork on our end done so that it's all ready for you guys when you come up. I have to be organized with this many people. So I'm sorry if I keep bugging you, but I really need you to sign up and, and get that done. So have a great week. A blessed one. Oop, that was not a pretty dismount. And we'll talk to you later.